Kelly, MEK672. Is it healthy to state pump yourself into anger if you're stuck in depression? Or should the ideal method always be welcoming, disidentifying, and asking yourself to let go? Simple question. And honestly, I don't know if I've given this much thought. I'd have to almost play with it a bit. Um, I would say that I'm not a big fan of state pumping. I'm, a, I'm a more of a fan of welcoming. But the problem is that if you're really not... Because you can use anger to climb out for sure. If you have access to anger and you can feel the anger literally and you can welcome that anger then you can use that anger to become proactive with the tension, step into it with the anger and get stuff done and make things happen. And that, that can be huge. And so I want to welcome you into that idea. Um, if you can't feel the anger at all and you want to bring it out of your system, um, I wouldn't say it would hurt as long as you could stay present with it. You know, if you're going to go punch a punching bag for a little bit, take a martial arts class and really get in there. And if you can access that anger for real, not fake it, like maybe you start to have to punch the bag a little bit and kick the bag a little hard in the beginning to wake your body up. If you can access it, I think it can potentially be beneficial. But ultimately, I would still do a, a great round of releasing after you access the anger. I would sit down after you've got all that anger and all that emotion up sit down and do some releasing. Don't lose control to the anger because if you become reactive to the anger, then it's going to have, it's gonna do damage and decrease your confidence. If you become proactive with the anger, then it's gonna build you back up. So I wanna, I wanna encourage you to step into that anger proactively and to stay conscious and aware and not let it control you. As far as the state pump goes, uh, you've got to be able to eventually hit and feel the real anger. And I don't want you to, and this is what I mean by the reactive. In a state pump, I picture yourself becoming so reactive to the anger that you're losing the, the sense of feeling in your body and you're just becoming reactive and racing. What I'm talking about is feeling all the way down to your legs, feeling down to your balls, becoming aware of what this energy is doing, staying proactive and conscious of it and not losing control. And some people can lose control and that's what's really important is that you start to become the observer of your emotions, that you feel them and observe them rather than losing control of them. Okay, so hopefully that helps and uh, thank you for your question. Thank you.